Hello and welcome to Mad Owl Goes Racing and today we are looking at the Race Sim Studio Formula Hybrid X 2021 for Assetto Corsa. Now this car is, as always with Race Sim Studio, absolutely stunningly modelled. It's based on the expected specification for the 2021 Formula 1 season. So the changes to the car from the 2019-20 type spec is the change to 18 inch wheels with low profile tyres. Having at long last got away from those 13 inch wheels that have been running for about 60 years now. And the reintroduction of ground effect aerodynamics. This car does have DRS still, which I think will not be as powerful as it is on the current cars, but we will have to wait and see. And the car comes with 23 different skins, the last of which is the camo that you would obviously run during your initial tests so that nobody knows what you're doing. Now, I haven't yet tested the car, so... Without too much further ado, we will be off to Silverstone and into the car to see what it does. Back in a minute. Hello and welcome to Silverstone where we're about to try out the new Race Sim Studio Formula Hybrid X 2021. That's a mouthful and a half, isn't it? Right, well this car is what the 2021 specs are going to be more or less. I'm not sure they've 100% nailed them yet for <coughs> Formula 1, excuse me. And... It will have a, a continuation of the same engine as far as I'm aware. So the engine, all the electronics, all the turbos and everything else and the um, MGU H, MGU K will all be the same. The major changes are going to be chassis wise in terms of tyres and the aero wise in terms of making much bigger use of the underfloor for ground effect. It's still going to have DRS, and the main difference as far as all that is concerned will be in how it affects you in terms of having a low profile tyre, obviously lower profile, high profile. The shorter the tyre sidewall, the stiffer it will probably be because it has to not allow the tyre to compress so much and damage the wheel rim. Less compression in that tyre wall means effectively you're going to have to have more motion in the suspension itself to compensate for that. So be interesting to see how much difference it makes to how the cars react, how they look. So let's do a couple of laps around Silverstone and see what it all looks like now. Like I said, I haven't even driven this car out of the pits yet, so... Let's 
feedback's nice. I do feel like I can hardly see where the corner is for the front wheels, but... And of course it's still got the, uh, I can't see a damn thing past it, but... Just about here, the tyres squeal a little bit there. Well, you could quite hear that, but... Very, very uh, fast turn in there. I've been driving GT3 cars and they feel like... Whoops. Feel like large lumps of lard compared to one of these. So, I'm a tad out of practice. Now, I actually downloaded this and was going to start doing uh, a bit of driving it earlier on, and then suddenly got an email going, there's version 2's out. So they've made a few, a few changes. Uh, one of them, I think, was to the uh, animations for the gear changes, was one of the changes, I believe. So, this feels very nice. I'm not a huge former car driver. I find my poor old brain can't keep up with the darn things, but... And, frankly, that's <laughs> it's gotten to the point where driving one of these is like... Getting a bit like playing a video game when it comes to the amount of things you can play with on the stereo. But, uh, I think I want to turn in too much. How fast are we going? I don't know, 186 moves, miles an hour, not too bad. This does feel really nice. I don't know if I could actually get around here flat or not, but... A little bit tempted to get on the power too early. As ever, when it comes to these things, it's just got so much ridiculously large amounts of grip and I'm just not breaking late enough. It's going to take me uh, quite a few laps to get my brain in team with how fast this thing is. Yeah, that's uh, ridiculously fast. Still turned in too early. Oh, there we go. Bound. Whoops. Bound to reach the limit eventually. 
Now, I have to say, that is one horrendously fast girl. And, uh, like I said, I think it would take me quite a while to get my head around just how ridiculously fast it genuinely is. But it's got good force feedback. Um, it sounds fine. Quite a nice difference between the... Let's see if I can find the... Uh, see what it looks like from outside. Uh, how long did I spend waffling before I actually got moving? Yes, that's a um, very nice car. Handles nicely. Uh, lovely force feedback. Usual issue that I have with a set of Corsa is I can't always tell when the back end's about to go. And frankly, the way this thing produces power, when it does go, it's quite quick to disappear and oop, off you go. It's got all sorts of weird, wonderful lights on the side of the... Uh, Side of the wheels here, if you notice. I don't know whether that's telling you whether it's regenerating or braking or using or presumably that's what it's trying to tell you. So as you're on the brakes, it's um, suddenly everything turns a shade of red. Is that saying the tyres? Or is that the brakes heating up? I'm not sure. It's really strange, but very novel, whatever it's meant to tell you. I'm sure if I look on the website it will tell you, but uh, I have to say that was uh, four euros, was it? Definitely one to add to your collection if you're a Formula fan, and uh, it'll be interesting to see in a couple of years' time, or 12 months-ish now, just over probably, just how close this is to what the final thing looks like, so... That's the uh, Racing Studio Formula Hybrid X 2021 car, and I have to say, even though I'm not a particularly huge fan of driving those things, that is immense fun. And I'd say, get one if you want one, and if you're not a fan of Formula cars, maybe it's time you start. So, with that, I will be back at some time with something and I will get round to doing project cars do things again soon but I'd like to know what those numbers are it's now saying naught in red on the front that's all for me enjoy your racing and uh, have fun see you soon